Hello YouTubers, Minecrafters, and peoples of the YouTubes. And welcome back to my vanilla Minecraft survival series. My name is Tobert and I'm your host and thanks for coming along. We're, grabbed to ha we're glad to have you. As you can see, I'm here at the Forced Snoo Snoo Camp. This is a infinite village breeder that we made during the last live stream. Last vanilla live stream, that is. And you can see we have our two villagers in here that are being all lovey-dovey. And they already... They have produced out two villagers. Down here, they're trying their best to get back down there. Unfortunately, they won't be able to make it. Also... I did realize something when it came to our little apartment complex over here. When we created the pool for the apartment complex, we messed up a little bit. For although we put stone all around the outside of it, the bottom of this little pool over here, it's all still dirt. We can't have that. It's got to be stone. So let's go ahead and knock all that out of here. And let's replace all that with stone. And well, in today's episode here, we're going to go take a look at our job board that we made. See what we got to do yet. I believe that one thing we're going to work on today, that we're going to work on that little storage system. Now we're gonna do the one that is just like Tango Tex. We do like his way of the storage system better than most. Mainly because you don't have to have leave one item in the hopper and it's not just for one item. But we'll get into that explanation in just one second here. Let me finish filling this in and then we'll go through the details of what I'm talking about in just one second. Oh, and I did forget one other thing we did during the live stream was we put the skull on top of the rib cage here, gave it a lava flowing mouth, kind of burnt away our little bit of our uh, light post here. But the way it works, you come over here, you hit this button. And then it retracts that lava up top, and so this flow finishes. And then right once this goes away, well, then you're okay to go ahead and walk through the portal. Just like so. Now you can go ahead and walk through. And then when you're done, you come back, you just hit the button again, let the lava come back out. And now you're safe. If ever a pig man comes through there, they should burn up in that lava. And we do have all the coarse dirt all around here. And regular dirt there as well. Shouldn't be affected by the grass at all. So we're going to end up having to move what this post was. But we'll get to that in a little bit. First things first, we want to show the two examples of a sorting system that can be made. The first example is what is used for only one item per chest. That is to say you have a chest down here, right? And you have a hopper in back there and another hopper coming in top of it. And then the thing is, is that you have a redstone torch right underneath this hopper which locks that hopper now we can go ahead and show that real quick let me go grab a redstone torch be right back okay so as i was saying the way this one works let's we'll use a double chest for it we gotta knock out this one and this one and so here we have a redstone torch, right? The 
but I still didn't make that redstone torch. Made everything else. Okay, we have redstone torch. We have a hopper going in on top of that, and a hopper going in on top of that. And then we need a block. It goes there. And so what we have is a comparator here. All right. And now that comparator sends a redstone signal down to, actually, let me knock this out real quick. I believe we put the repeater right here. Then that block goes right back on top of there, I believe, with the redstone signal. That redstone signal goes down to that repeater, which eventually feeds back into there. Maybe not. Okay, so as I was saying, now that I went and looked up uh, how to do this properly. The reason I don't like this particular way of doing it is that you have to leave one item inside the system at all times, or two items inside the system at all times. Because what you do with this one is that you read the signal off of this top, off of this hopper here. So normally you have another row of hoppers going on top of this, pointing down into these ones. And you read the signal off of that one. It still doesn't seem quite right. Nope, that's not right. I did this block wrong. Nope. It's supposed to go there. Okay. As I was saying. So you read the signal off of that hopper. It pulls down here into this repeater. And it will eventually power that redstone torch, which will actually depower this block, allowing this to happen. As of right now, this bottom hopper is locked. So what it is, so you have a bunch of items. Well, now that's not supposed to happen. No, wait, that is supposed to happen. There we go, 45 items. Well, you offset that with 44 sticks in the back here, right? Or sticks or snowballs or something. And the thing that happens here is that now they get all these in here. Okay. So this redstone signal is currently... Uh, I guess just enough went through. So yeah, I got one block stuck there. I have one block stuck here. And then this chest is filled with that block. As it gets filled with only that kind of block. I personally don't like that method very well. Because it's only one block. That's all you get. Whereas the method similar to Tango Tex storage system is so we'll go ahead we'll make this little bit here is that I'll come into this one and I'll fill this chest up with say so many blocks of wood so many sticks and then the next one down will fill with so much cobblestone every slot in the chest has to be filled with this kind of system. And let's go ahead and use this dirt, right? And so the bottom one will be whatever else. So we'll go in the top here. We'll drop all this stuff in here. It'll go through all of these hoppers. And each hopper will try to put it into a chest. It is not able to put it into a chest. It goes down to the next one. And so not only do I have no items that get stuck in the back here everything's going to go through 
Oh, I didn't put any sticks in, did I? Let's throw some sticks in there. Let's throw some wood in there. Okay, so we did... I thought we did the cobblestone and dirt. So now why did that end up there? Oh, because normally the every other one is locked. That's normally what happens. So normally, let's say this one will want to be locked. There. Let you lock that bottom one. So first, it'll try to insert. into here and you can see it's already inserting stuff and so if we have the other things there it's trying to insert it but it can't and so then there's a clock that's going on that'll unlock this one and then lock the next one if i take this out if i go ahead and grab a stick Well, that wasn't supposed to happen, but like that. Okay. We'll grab a stick. We'll make another torch. We'll throw the torch there and we'll knock that one out. So the clock unlocks this one. Which you can see, this is now filling up. And then eventually, whatever's left over, we'll see use stakes. Why not? Let's go to finish going through all of this one. And then when it's done, all that clock that is running here is still going. So it's flashing this lock. So eventually this is going to unlock as well. All the items are going to flow into this bottom one and then flow into the other chest. So all the items flow through the system. There's nothing left locked in the hoppers. If I really need the last item, I can grab it. If it's absolutely necessary. And so I don't have to leave any items inside the system if I don't want to. I can take them all. And now that the system's empty, there's nothing locked in the, in the hoppers, there's nothing locked in the chests. Everything's available. This is the kind of system I like. Because this system, after I go ahead and put a building around it and hide all the hoppers and the redstone and everything, there is only one item here those sticks flew in there because i took the redstone torch from there but otherwise i have an item locked in this hopper i have an item locked in this hopper and only one item inside this chest now that's good for mass amount of items like a whole lot of cobblestone a whole lot of sand a whole lot of regular stone but when it comes to the other items like redstone, redstone torches, sticks, and whatnot, I'm not going to devote an entire chest just to sticks. That just sounds silly. So we're not going to be making this kind of system. We're going to be making this kind of system. So let's figure out a place where we're going to build this and we will get started in just one second. All right, so I figure right here will be a good place to put this. I went ahead and flattened this land out, all because this is a modular design. We're going to be able to go down this way with it and then across if we need to. And to start with, it needs to be a four by nine area. Six, seven, eight, nine. Now, I'm going to actually suggest to go watch Tango Tech's tutorial on this. Do not necessarily watch mine. This is just what we are happen to be doing in our area. So that is going to be our total area that we're going to use. And the way that I like to build this is that I like to have the chess even with where I'm going to be standing at so this is going to be like the outside of our area and i like to have my chests right at the below 
point, like right here. And we gotta use trap chests in order to be have two chests next to each other. And so this is where I'm gonna start at, and so we need to go, I believe it is four down from that point. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up and ready and going. And then we'll come back and review what's been done. And so we will see you after this build is completed. Well, pretty much completed. So we'll see you in a minute. All right, and there we go. The first module is all done. And we can go ahead and take a look. We already did a little bit of sorting for the first three chests here of how things are going to come into it. And what we're going to do, we're going to leave this last chest empty. And so this is going to be the overflow chest. Everything that does not have a place to be sorted is going to go into this chest. This is just the first module. We're going to try to do at least two additional modules. But the problem with it, there's a skeleton over there waiting for me. The problem with this is that with all these hoppers that are involved in here, it is very expensive on the iron. Extremely expensive on the iron. But... We can go ahead and throw everything in here that we have a sorting place for. We'll even throw the stone in there that we don't have a sorting for. And you can see it is completely silent. But you can see the torches turning on and off. You can see the redstone turning on and off and whatnot. So as the items are coming in through this hopper chain, they're going up through these droppers. I think that skeleton saw me. It's going up through those droppers and then coming across these hoppers coming back down and this hopper chain comes back over to these droppers goes up this chain comes across and down and eventually comes out on this side over here but we're going to be removing those in the final module so that everything that can't go into this last chest doesn't just go off and get stuck inside the hoppers. It's, it waits in this back hopper until there's room in that chest. But that's just what we're going to do. Looks like that skeleton finally went away. Okay. So we can go ahead and drop down here real quick. So we can see everything moving. All the redstone is going. We should be seeing the items coming into the chest here let's just double check real quick and did we not do that okay that one's ticking up So they must still be moving through the system. That's got to be what's going on right now. Yep, they got to be moving through the system still. So if we take a look at that top hopper there. Yeah, we got the stone going through right now. Now that should go down to the very bottom chest here. Yep, there it is, coming in. So if we add more to this, we got andesite and diorite coming down right now. So that should be coming to that chest shortly. All right, so there is andesite coming in and yep, there it is cranking up in that chest. So that's what we got going on here. Items are automatically being sorted into the system, but we can configure these chests however we want. So it's going to make our lives a whole lot easier when we go off, do some mining, come back, just drop everything in this chest and be done with it. Also, what we can do, we can connect to this. We can take a hopper chain from that facility, bring it all the way underneath and into the chain itself, and it'll get into the system as well. So we can have the food automatically sorted in here. But that's something to think about for another day, because, again, that's going to be a lot of iron. And that entire system there, 
we had some four stacks of iron, I believe. So after all that, we're down to 28. And only six hoppers left over. Like I said, it's expensive on the iron to do this kind of system, but it is, for me, personally, I like this system better than the other version, the other kind. So there we go. We are done for this episode. We're going to work on the rest of this off camera. So I'm going to say thanks for coming along. Hope you enjoyed it. We will see you in the next episode or on the live stream coming up. Let's go ahead and back up a little bit so we can get in front of this thing. And we can say, till next time, take care and we will see you shortly. Thank <laughs> you.